Hi, Stephen Johnson here. Today I'm going to talk about topographic maps, printing maps, and then aligning the map using the magnetic declination so you can get your map lined up to be able to read it when you're in the backcountry. Topo Maps Plus comes with a number of different types of maps inside of the application. Picking which map can be a little bit tricky sometimes. If you're hiking in the United States, most likely you're going to want to use the historic USGS Topo Maps. The USGS is the United States Geological Society. These maps tend to be the best maps when you're deep in the backcountry. However, they are a bit older. Most of the maps are 40 to 60 years old. So if you're hiking in an urban area, you're more likely going to want to use something like the Thunder Forest topo maps or the Glacier topo maps. These maps have much more up-to-date information. However, when you're deep in the backcountry, the USGS topo maps will have things like glaciers, streams, timber lines, a lot of geographical information that most other maps do not have. And a lot of that information hasn't changed much in the last 40 to 60 years. Certainly there are changes. I hike a lot in the Washington Cascades and a number of the glaciers have unfortunately receded and, and gone farther back and so the glaciers won't always be exactly accurate on those maps, but they do tend to be the best topo maps for the United States. If you're hiking in Canada, you can use the NRCAN maps. These are the natural resources of Canada topographic maps. There are two sources for those in Topo Maps Plus. The first source is directly from the Canadian government. This NRCAN map covers all of Canada and it has the most up-to-date information. However, because it comes directly from the Canadian government, the, the download process does tend to be a little bit slower. You can alternately use the NRCAN and GOBC maps from CalTOPO. This is a cached version of the NRCAN maps from the Natural Resource of Canada and they only are applicable for southern and western Canada. However, these maps do tend to load a lot faster. So if you're hiking in southern or western Canada, I recommend using the NRCAN maps from CalTOPO just because they will load faster on your device. If you're hiking in New Zealand, you can use the LINZ maps from the Land Information New Zealand. These once again are great maps for the backcountry in New Zealand. And if you're hiking anywhere else in the world, you can use the Thunder Forest or Glacier Topo maps. These are worldwide topo maps with hiking trails and other backcountry features on them as well. So once you've picked the map that you want to use, you need to print that map out before you go. To print the map, simply go to My Data and then select Print Map. When you go to print the map, you can choose to print directly from your device or email yourself the file to print from another computer. Once the, uh, the interface is up for doing the printing, you're going to see a box over the map. This box will show you the area you want to print. The actual printed map will be a zoomed in map for the box and region that you have selected. Topo Maps Plus will use the highest resolution that it can use to fit inside of that box. Once you've selected the box that you want to print, go to the print options. Here you can select if you want to print in landscape, if you want to print uh, in portrait, the paper size that you want to use, I recently printed a two by three foot map for the Glacier Peak Wilderness for a backpacking trip I'm going to do this summer. You can get the file and upload that to a lot of websites online to print large maps. So you can pick, the, pick out the map size that you want to print to. You can also pick other options like if you want to include your waypoints and if you want to include titles and, and things like that to be able to customize your printed map. Now one of the important things that you are going to need to pick is which type of collar you want to have on the map. The collar is the area around the edges of the map. By default, you're going to get the full collar. You want to always have at least one map with a full collar when you go out. The full collar will have the magnetic declination on the collar itself. The magnetic declination is the difference between true north and magnetic north. You're going to need to have the magnetic declination in order to properly align your map. I'll talk about that in just a moment. The collar will also have on it a map scale. Now if you already have a printed map with a magnetic declination, you can choose a smaller map collar that has just the scale on it, not the magnetic declination, so you can get more of the map fit, uh, to fit in the paper that you're printing to. Also, you can have no map collar if you want the map to fill the entire page of paper when you print it out. When you print out your map, you want to make sure that you keep your map safe in the backcountry. There's two things you can do. One, you can use waterproof paper to print your map on. Alternately, you can get a nice waterproof container for your map. I picked this up at REI. I put all of my maps inside of this container 
and I can have two maps. And when I look at it, one on each side, and then all the rest of my maps in the middle. So I'll usually have a zoomed in map for whatever day I'm hiking and a zoomed out map on the other side for each day. And I'll switch it every day as I go out. This will keep my map safe while I'm actually out hiking. Now when you're actually out hiking, you're going to want to be able to align your map with the terrain that you're looking at. To do that, you're going to need to look at the magnetic declination. You're going to take the magnetic declination and put that into the dial on your compass. Once you do that, align the left edge of your compass on the edge of the map, and then rotate your map around until the red arrow goes inside the red arrow box. And now you've correctly aligned your map so that what you're looking at on the map lines up with what's around you. So that's how you can print a map using Topo Maps Plus and use it in the backcountry. I also highly recommend that you check out a training video on how to use your compass so that you can triangulate your position. With that, it's time for me to go jump on my bike and go for a ride. I'm very excited for this Thursday when you will be able to get early access for Topo Maps Plus on your Mac. Well, what is early access? The full version of Topo Maps Plus for Mac won't launch until later this summer. However, you can start using the app this week to plan your summer backpacking trips, which I am already doing myself. Anyone who purchases early access for Topo Maps Plus will get regular updates as all the new features are added all the way up through and after the full release later this summer. Well, how much is it going to cost? Topo Maps Plus Pro for iOS costs $48 per year. That's just $4 a month. The Mac version is going to cost $60 per year. That's just $5 per month. You'll be able to buy Pro for iOS and Mac together for just $80 per year. Now, anybody who buys early access will get a whole year for free. So you'll be able to buy Topo Maps Plus for Mac for two years for $60 or Pro for iOS and Mac for two years for just $80. If you were to buy Pro for iOS for two years, that would be $96. So you will save $16 on just getting two years of Pro for iOS and you will get the Mac with that as well. A lot of people ask me, why is Topo Maps Plus a subscription and not a one-time purchase? In Topo Maps Plus, it uses licensed maps, and each of those maps um, costs money every single month for all of the downloads that those maps incur. I get a bill every month from different map providers based upon the usage for each of the maps. And so that is why Topo Maps Plus is a subscription. It's to help cover the costs of licensing all the different maps. That's also why once you've downloaded a map, you don't have to have an active map pass to be able to continue using that particular map. You only have to have your active map pass to actually do new downloads. I'm going to open up a limited time special offer during early access to be able to purchase a lifetime membership to Topo Maps Plus Pro for iOS and Mac. For just over the cost of three years of your subscription, you will be able to get a lifetime pass. The pass will be $250, and that will be Topo Maps Plus Pro for iOS and Mac, and you will be able to use it for the lifetime of the apps. Also, during early access, there will be an additional discount if you want to purchase it for your team. You can get an additional 20 to 30% off when you do team volume licensing. I'm really excited for this Thursday when you all will be able to start using Topo Maps Plus on your Mac.